Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the brand new XKX300. Uh, this is a very new model from XK and it's a very interesting model. It's a combination between a high-tech drone and a low-tech drone. Uh, it uses both technologies and uh, why I say it uses brand new technology is that it has uh, optical positioning along with altitude hold but it still uses brushed motors so it's a combination of new and old or cheap technology with more expensive technology it also is the FPV version it has a FPV camera it uh, records in HD resolution and it comes with a monitor there are several co uh, combinations of uh, this quad available at least for now there are only two a uh, Wi-Fi version and a regular uh, FPV version you can see there is a standard one a simple camera version there is the FPV version and there's the FPV uh, plus application control so you can uh, scan a QR code and uh, control the quad from uh, your uh, mobile phone so this is the regular version with transmitter uh, but also has a full FPV kit so let's take a look inside let's see it And in the box, of course, we get small manual, introduction manual, and we get some additional papers. And you can see here it's an older model of transmitter. And here it comes with an added information for the transmitter. We'll see which transmitter there is in the box. And here is the quad. I must say that it looks really nice. You cannot uh, feel the materials through this video, but I can tell you this is much more uh, nice than a regular quadcopters. It has a very smooth finish. Uh, the plastic looks not only nice, but it feels like it has a lot of quality. And uh, the props also look interesting. Uh, also, they have uh, uh, pretty high uh, pitch and you can see they are brushed but uh, there's not a lot of uh, cogging sound from the gears so I believe this will be a lot more uh, uh, less noisy than other models of course in the box we get uh, prop guards which are just nap on quick uh, guards so if you need to attach them it will be very fast this uh, will use its own proprietary battery as you can see from this adapter and this is the FPV antenna let's see what we get underneath so FPV screen which is found throughout XK quads and planes it's a regular 4.3 inch FPV monitor it has 8 channels built in and the antenna goes like that this will snap on to the transmitter and it's really reliable but it has a limited runtime from my experience of course we get a bed of accessories and inside we get a card reader and a SD card in it a screwdriver some screws and a bracket for fixing the monitor to the transmitter and a USB charging cable for the monitor moving on we also get a spare set of uh, propellers, a balance charger, it will charge only to cell batteries and to do that it will use its own adapter which comes in European plug this time and we get a transmitter which looks very familiar from the design point of view it looks like the X7 and X8 transmitters but it is not it doesn't have a wheel here it's only a push button it misses the switches here and it has two switches here also it does not have switches here although it's labeled an X8 and here we get a stick mode button and a takeoff button instead of the menu button and 
the wheel for settings or controlling a gimbal. So it's a different kind of transmitter, but it looks like the previous models found on uh, uh, XK drones like uh, uh, 380, 251, 252. So we'll see about the transmitter. Uh, it also uh, uses the same protocol, but on the box there's no word about the Futaba interface, which was previously used. Now let's uh, move on to the quad to see more details about it. Uh, here is the camera, the FPV camera and its antenna. This is a modular design. You will push this clip here and you can take the camera out. And you can also replace it with a wireless uh, version or uh, some other things that may come up later. Uh, what I like about this model is that the lens has a slight tilted upward lens which is very useful when you are flying FPV because the quad will face downward and the lens is a bit up so it will correct that angle and it will not film the ground uh, most of the Chinese quads nowadays have the lens oriented downside which is a big mistake because you are going to film only the grass so here is a big plus for the camera hopefully its quality will also be good on the back of the quad there is the battery and it uses a propeller IR battery which is a two cell LiPo it's not a smart battery like uh, more expensive quads but it's a normal battery enclosed and uh, provided with its own connector uh, the good thing about this it's it will clip nicely inside and that's about it uh, probably the battery will not be that expensive. I'm now going to show you the transmitter and uh, its functions, but uh, before that I'm going to show you the optical flow sensor, which is the highest novelty on uh, this device. And it's this uh, black dot here, which is actually not a black dot, but it's a secondary video camera. This one is uh, pointing down and it's always uh, scanning the pattern underneath the quadcopter. And uh, this will uh, tell the flight controller that the drone is drifting uh, in, on its sides and it'll, it will automatically con uh, correct and uh, keep the position just like on a GPS drone. So this is uh, very useful at uh, keeping the position and combined with altitude hold this will uh, make it a very easy to fly quadcopter and it's supposed to be able uh, to fly indoors also which I'm going to test because it's really interesting although this is a large quadcopter for flying indoors as for the height of the operation of uh, this system it's supposed to work at 8-10 meters after that it may lose focus and it will maybe not be able to distinguish that it has moved or not so it will probably start to drift at uh, that height but until uh, that level it should uh, keep its position right so I'm going to move on the transmitter now I'm going to power on the quad which we can uh, do from uh, this switch here and it's nice that it also shows you the battery level and I'm going to power on the transmitter uh, you need to bind the transmitter on this model so it's throttle up throttle down LED is steady now the transmitter is uh, binded I'm also going to power on the monitor and we get FPV image and it looks very nice, it's very smooth. Uh, it's interesting to test if it's going to have um, a delay when it's uh, recording video. And uh, moving on to the transmitter switches. You can see this transmitter is relatively basic. It does not have a setup menu like on uh, other transmitters. It has a flying uh, ladybug here like on WL Toys cheaper quads. So it's a pre-programmed transmitter, no way of setting other functions. It's predefined to this quadcopter because it has a lot of custom features which you can use from this. So probably a regular transmitter will need too much programming. So you get this kind of XK good transmitter, cheaper version. Right, so you get a photo button here, short press. Let's see if you can see the monitor also. It will take a picture, snapshot. Also, if you keep it pressed a longer time, 
you can see the counter here it has started recording video don't press again and it has stopped recording it's very important to stop recording before turning it off because otherwise it will corrupt your video file All right so stick mode it's actually the rate mode now it's on 60 percent 80 percent and 100 percent and that's its function this is automatic takeoff and it also is uh, automatic landing you keep it pressed for a short period of time it will take off and if it's in the air and flying if you keep it pressed it will automatically land the button here on the top it's the button to change the frequency of the FPV camera so you can change the channel from this switch which is very nice let's see if I can switch it back hopefully and there is image back again sharp and clear right so that changes the camera frequency you can also change the monitor frequency from here the monitor has only eight channels the camera I don't know how many channels it has it seems that it has more than uh, uh, eight channels because I have pressed this a lot of times all right uh, keeping this pressed for a longer time it will switch the cut copter in headless mode and uh, this one is for automatic flips you press it once it will be continuously you use your direction uh, uh, joystick and it will automatically flip in that direction so those are the uh, transmitter functions relatively basic and uh, customized to this quadcopter as a final conclusion and uh, to end this uh, first part of the review before I test uh, flight it I must mention that the specifications uh, of this quadcopter uh, are uh, telling us that this produces a weight uh, a power to weight ratio of more than uh, 5 so this should be very fast and it should have uh, incredible lift power if it's that way like uh, it's specified so I'm uh, really interested also in uh, that aspect because it uh, it's not a very light quad so uh, it needs a lot of power and hopefully the uh, used motors can uh, provide that even though it's uh, brushed we'll see all uh, that in a flight video and I'm also going to do an indoor flight video to test its optical positioning system and I will upload them uh, soon. Until next time, bye bye.